Ouija boards are a lie. Dang it. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here and you're watching D News. When I was a kid, I was totally fascinated by Ouija boards. I was never allowed to have one because my mom said that it would let the angry spirits in our house. But my friends had them and they had them at our sleepovers. Checkmate, mom. I remember on one occasion, we contacted a spirit who told us the house we were in was built atop an Indian burial ground. Creepy, right? Had we really contacted the spirits of ages past? Eh. Probably depends on who you ask. All the creepiness of Ouija boards can be sucked right out by science thanks to a phenomenon called the idiomotor effect. This is a psychological effect where your expectations and beliefs cause unconscious motor movement in your body. So by the power of suggestion from all the scary movies I've seen, my brain causes my hands to move and confirm my spooky suspicions. Meanwhile, my mind never processes that I'm the one moving it. So then who done it according to 12 year old Lazy? Well, spirits, of course. The idiomotor effect first hit the books in 1852 when a scientist named William Carpenter set out to investigate a popular practice called dowsing. At the time, dowsing was all the rage. People would cross two rods with their hands and then the rods would move and help them find underground water or gold or oil. Dr. Carpenter was like, hmm, I'm not sure about that and went on to conduct and publish one of the first studies on it. He found that even though the participants never processed their movements, the rods were being moved by them based on where they subconsciously believed the water to be. Another place we see the idiomotor effect is in something called facilitated communication. This one's a little less silly and a little more sad. Communicators claiming to give severely brain damaged or disabled patients a way to communicate with their loved ones are guided by patients' hands on a keyboard to write a message from them, similar to a Ouija board. About 10 years ago, the APA issued a statement that research-wise, facilitated communication is a false hope farce. Even though they fully believed they were being moved by the patient, the communicators themselves were writing the messages. So, okay then. The idiomotor effect ruins everything and Ouija boards won't help us contact ghosts. But hey, they are selling lots of sleepover fun and they're also illustrating how maybe it's actually our brains and not ghosts that we should be freaked out by. I mean, we can make subtle movements even while we're paying attention and the conscious mind won't always process it. Psychologist Daniel Wegner said, quote, our normal sense of owning an action is an illusion, or if you will, a construction. The mental processes which directly control our movements are not connected to the same processes which figure out what caused it, unquote. So, not cool, brain. Or perhaps very cool. I'm still trying to decide. Thanks for joining me for DNews, guys. Ouija boards, are you a fan? Tell me about it down below or on Twitter at DNews. I'll see you next time.